Now, sir, you mentioned the electromagnetic spectrum. Mm -hmm. Why is the EM spectrum a concern, and what does cyber have to do with that? Well, uh, the electromagnetic spectrum, it, it sounds geek-speak to some people, but it's actually kind of simple. Uh, you go to open your garage, you, you know, push the button, and uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, radiation goes off and triggers a circuit, to an electrical circuit. Uh, you go to start your car, open your car door. You, you, everybody's got an, uh, a, a smartphone, and, and you're using the electromagnetic spectrum. Our radars use it. We communicate by it. Uh, as I said earlier, our weapon seekers. So we are embedded in it in so many ways. Uh, we have to understand that and we have to control it because our enemies and our potential enemies are monitoring all of it. So when we go out on our ships at sea and we have all the radars going and we're communicating, we're you know, communicating at home, we're on Wi-Fi and all that, that is all being monitored. So we need to do that in a deliberate manner. We need to turn it off and be good at turning it off when it, we need to. And we need to listen to others who are doing the same. So what I like to say is we need to be able to maneuver in that electromagnetic spectrum. All the different frequencies, you know, from infrared to ultraviolet, uh, across there. Uh, it's something we haven't really thought about before because we haven't been challenged in it, number one. And number two, we haven't used it so much. It's very convenient to do the things that I just discussed, to, to use all, these, all this portable equipment. It's small, it's easy, it's low energy, uh, but it's everywhere, and, and people have figured that out. 